If you're a Mac user, I think you're really gonna enjoy this new app called Clean My Mac. And I have it installed on my Mac laptop and we have it on five different Macs here at the office. And what it does is it actually takes care of a lot of the things automatically to speed up and optimize any Mac. So on my laptop, for example, I just cleaned up everything relating to my hard drive space to empty some hard drive space. It also has this protection tab that I'm gonna go over. This performance tab is really one of the key features that I wanted to cover in this video. This is gonna help you optimize your Mac. Under the application tab, I'll show you how to quickly uninstall apps that you're not using. Maybe they're taking up space or they're just totally out of date. This takes care of a lot of that. And if you're not technical, this is awesome. If you're technical like me, this is still awesome because a lot of these things will take much more time if you do them manually. And I'll put a link to their website in the description too. So if this is a good fit for you, you wanna install it, they have a free trial and then you could buy it for one computer or multiple computers. I have a, the plan for multiple computers. So let's start right on top, the smart care. So it's gonna scan multiple different things. So right now it's looking for system junk. It's gonna go through some of these tabs that I showed you on the left side for protection, for performance, application, and my clutter. So it's gonna go through those five just in one click, but you could individually go inside of those things if you're trying to do something like performance optimization too. Okay, it took about a minute and right here, it found 23 gigabytes, almost 24 gigabytes of junk. I could go ahead and review it and see exactly what they are. Things related to system junk, mail attachment and your trash can. And I'm gonna go to the next tab, but once you're happy with all that, you could press run and it will actually run all these different things to clean up things, optimize things. Right here under this protection, that's the tab right here that you could look for just things related to malware and things like that, viruses, it found no threats there. Under the performance tab, one task to run, so I could go ahead and review that task, flush DNS cache. So again, if you're not technical, I would have no idea how to do something like this, right? So this takes care of maintenance tasks that you wanna do to optimize your computer. Application, no vital updates, but it looks for things related to software updates. So a lot of applications need to be updated frequently. You could do it all here. Like if you wanna update Zoom and Google Chrome, all that takes place over here if it finds one. I run this pretty frequently, so it hasn't found much. And then you will find any type of duplicates to save up storage and you could review those too. And after review, I'm gonna go ahead and run it and it's gonna go through all those different steps one at a time. This may take a few minutes here and it'll free up storage. It will optimize your Mac for performance, any protection related issue, any software updates, all of that is gonna happen automatically. Okay, now this one is done. I'm running another one here for protection just to show you if you just wanna do one task at a time, that one did all five. But if you wanted to clean up your disk space, for example, you'll just choose this one and just scan for that right over here. If you wanted to run protection, you would just run this one right over here performance, scan, and run this one over here. And you could see I could run multiple things at the same time and run these tasks right here. This one actually is diving a little bit deeper for us. So it found, for example, maintenance tasks. Let me go ahead and preview these. So DNS flush we did. We have re-index spotlight, repair disk permission, speed up mail. I'm gonna run all those two. I'm gonna quit my mail to run that. Okay, so it's gonna run those maintenance things for us. And when you dive deeper under the protection tab, so it had no issues relating to malware and things like that, but it did find 11 apps that have access to my camera. I've already reviewed these. These are the normal apps like Zoom and things like that. So that's okay, but this is gonna find things that have access to your camera and microphone. It found all these temporary files. If you use Google Chrome, it stores a lot of cookies and things like that. You could remove them all from here. <laughs> Looks like I haven't removed mine ever. I have over 100,000. And then anything that you used recently, you could go ahead and remove that from here. So this protection tab is really, really interesting. And then under this My Clutter right here, I'm scanning this right now. This actually runs through your entire hard drive space and organize things in a much better way than you could do inside of Finder, for example. So it's gonna show you your largest files, duplicates. I'll show you this in a second as soon as it's done here. I got a pretty uh, big hard drive. I think I got a two terabyte hard drive on this laptop. And while it's going through the scan, let me click this little icon because once you have Clean My Mac installed, it shows up right on top. It's gonna show you the health of your Mac here. So mine is excellent. Again, I use this all the time to make sure I stay up to date with everything. 
you could free up storage from here. So it's gonna show you your hard drive space, how much is available. It's gonna show you your memory usage, your CPU usage, your battery. Everything is available here at a quick glance. So my scan is done on my entire hard drive and look at what it found right here. This found 205 duplicates. So this could be images, for example, different files that maybe you downloaded twice. This is a huge time saver right here. It found stuff inside of Google Chrome, one gigabytes of downloads I could probably go ahead and delete. It found stuff inside of Slack that it used for messaging. 35 large similar images found. So I have a lot of Photoshop files. So these may find duplicates related to Photoshop files. I could review all files from here too. And you could see it's organizing large and old files right here is showing all files, but it could actually sort it by file size, by date accessed. On the left side, it could show just my duplicates over here. So this is clearly a duplicate. And then I could go ahead and remove any duplicate like this. I could select this duplicate and just remove that one. I could individually do this if I want, which with images, I recommend you do that sometimes you have a picture that is very similar but different and you don't wanna delete one of them, you wanna keep both. So you wanna manually go through any type of duplicates. But again, you could see this is a huge time saver. Just the fact that now I could save up ton of storage space by going through and deleting duplicates, any large files, I could quickly see them. Like it says file size, huge. Well, what's this thing taking two gigabytes? Okay, I could go to it here and I'm like, oh, well, this is a really, unnecessary video that I recorded off my screen. I don't need, it says random recording actually in the folder I created for it. Well, I don't need that. I could go ahead and remove that from here. So if you have a Mac and you're not super technical or you're technical, you just don't want to take the time. You rather have a really easy to use app like this. This is one of my favorite apps that I've had on my Macs for like four or five years now. So I highly recommend it. I'll go ahead and link it again in the description below for you to check out, try it for free, see if it's a good fit. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.